Hi there, my name is Alana and you could say that I have a mild obsession with Louis Vuitton handbags. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be ranking my entire Louis Vuitton handbag collection from least used to most used and it should not come as much of a surprise that the bags that I use the most are also my favorites. So this is kind of a dual purpose, it's the bags that I use the most and also ranking my bags in terms of how much I love each of them. Now, I just wanna start by saying that I feel so fortunate for the collection I have. I've been building this collection over the course of the last three or four years, and I love all of my handbags in my Louis Vuitton collection. Overall, I just love how casual so many Louis Vuitton bags are, how they're just built for every day, how they elevate an outfit, and just honestly, I love that they're just based in three gorgeous neutral canvas prints. Personally, for me, when I'm buying from Louis Vuitton, it is all about the canvas. I have bags in Damier Bin, Damier Azur, and Monogram. So without any further ado, let's get started. I cannot believe that this bag is coming in fourth place. This bag I dreamed about for years. I probably fantasized about owning this bag ever since I was in first or second year university. And let's just say that I'm turning 29 next month. So I fantasized about having this bag in my collection for the longest time. I went back and forth on sizing, on print, but I, I can't believe it. But my least favorite and least used Louis Vuitton bag in my collection is my Speedy. So this is the Speedy Bandolier 25 in monogram. So first of all, you can tell that it is a bandolier because one, well, I put the strap in the bag because it's kind of cumbersome to show on YouTube, but the Speedies in the Bandolier collection, they have the piece of leather on here. So if you do not have this piece of leather, then you can't put a strap on it. I will say that when I was first um, really exploring adding this bag to my collection, I was like, oh, I could save money. I'll get it without the strap now and I'll buy the strap later. Yeah, you can't do that. So I had to cough up all the money at once and get it in the Bandolier. Um, I am so glad that I got this version because for the longest time I thought I was going to get the Speedy 30 in Domnia Abin. I felt like the monogram was a bit too loud, but over the course of saving up for this bag, I realized that I love monogram. You're going to see more monogram in my collection. I love just the classic sort of nod to the heritage of the brand. I love the colors. I love the way the leather patinas. But the reason this is in last place, to be honest, I bought this bag just as the pandemic was kind of coming on to us and I haven't needed big bags. And I can't believe it. I thought the 25 was gonna be too small that I'd need the 30 or the 35. Um, but I've been loving my smaller handbags. So we are definitely gonna see smaller bags at the top of the list. And yeah, anyways, I just haven't really had the opportunity to wear it. Um, I'm hoping to wear this some more in the spring. I'm hoping that I'll need a little bit of a bigger handbag, but overall, it's a beautiful bag. It's such a classic piece in the collection. I'm so happy to have it in my collection and I can't believe that it is ranking where it is. So let's get on to the next bag. Pretty much I only have good things to say from here on out, but my second least favorite bag of the four that I'm sharing today is my Alma BB. Now this is the newest bag in my collection. I opted to get it in Domnia Bin um, because there is so much leather on this bag and I didn't want to have the untreated vaquetta that you're going to find with the monogram. I'll start off by saying I love the structure and the shape of this bag. I love that this bag is a little bit more formal. I think that of all the bags in my Louis Vuitton collection, this is the easiest one to transition from day to night. So major points for that one. But the reason it's ranking where it is, is the strap is so annoying. Like, so it comes with a strap that you can kind of clip on onto these little D-rings here. And every single time I have worn this bag out of the house, inevitably the strap, like the little clips, I guess one of them comes undone and then the bag, like thankfully I've caught it every time, but the bag like falls off me. And I just find that super, super frustrating. Um, I will say in terms of the look, I love it. But in terms of the functionality, let's just say she, she's beautiful, um, but she's not the most functional bag I own. I do think it is such a sweet bag though. I love the look. I love wearing this in the fall. I have so many good things to say about the bag. I love wearing it top handle, but I did buy this bag because it was a top handle and a crossbody. And for me, the crossbody functionality just, it's been a flop. In second place, we have a bag that I absolutely adore. This bag has been discontinued but this is the MM favorite in Damier Azure. This bag is so well loved. It was the first Louis Vuitton bag I ever added to my collection. This one was a gift from my husband. 
Um, once he started work as a lawyer, he bought this for me and I just, I love it so much. Like, I will say that the magnet is not the most functional, so I'm always a little cautious when I'm wearing this bag out and about that, you know, all my things are secure in it, but it is lightweight, it's effortless, it's comfortable. The Vaquetta leather has just patinaed to the most beautiful, beautiful honey brown. And you know what, this bag, it's just beautiful. I love wearing this bag spring, summer, put it on with a sundress and I just, it just feels so effortless and casual, but yet elevated, and I, I love the Domi Azur. I definitely want to add more Domi Azur to my collection. Um, yeah, I just, this bag just makes me happy. And in first place, oh my goodness, you guys, I cannot believe that this bag is ranking in first. This bag was definitely a little bit of an impulse purchase, and I almost returned it. But this is my Nano Speedy, and I love my Nano Speedy so, so much. I remember when I first showed this bag on YouTube, I had a not so nice commenter basically tell me, you're gonna sell that on Poshmark like every other YouTuber. Uh, girl, no, I'm obsessed. I also, if, you're, if you've been around the channel for a while, you will know that I did think about briefly maybe cutting off the strap. So the strap is not adjustable or removable. Um, but then, you know what? One of my commenters said that, you know, you love the bag for the artistry and the kind of thought and design that Louis Vuitton has put into it. Enjoy it in its full, full form. And I actually, I love the strap. I think it's perfect. I wear this bag crossbody all the time. When I went to the Southern United States in the fall with my husband, this is the only purse I brought with me. Um, it is casual, it is fun, it is just so easy and lightweight and I think it just goes with everything. Like I, I love wearing this bag. I, yeah, I just, I love this bag. I get so many compliments on it and I can't even believe that I was able to buy it in store, but I just, I love this bag so much. So there you have it, a ranking of my least used to most used Louis Vuitton bags, which also happens to be a ranking of my least favorite to favorite Louis Vuitton bags. I think it's kind of funny that my ranking is, of course, bookended by the Speedy. I think the Speedy is just such a beautiful classic silhouette from the brand. I would love to add one of the new Speedy 20s to my collection. I just I'm a speedy girl, okay? I just, I love how casual and everyday their vibe is. I also wanted to say that I think I've basically reached purse peace when it comes to Louis Vuitton. I do want to get a speedy 25 and I would also like to get maybe a cassette in Damier Azur, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with where my Louis Vuitton collection is. I love all of my bags, even though I just ranked them from least favorite to favorite. I love all my bags. I think they each serve a purpose in my collection. So anyways, that is my Louis Vuitton handbag collection. Let me know if you'd like to see an overview of my entire luxury and designer handbag collection. And also if you'd like to see a video of my entire Louis Vuitton collection, of course, I've got wallets and small leather goods and so many other pieces from the brand that brings me joy. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.